Are you serious? Yes, there are plenty of ways to kill some time out there right now. You are killing some time with us. I'm Marcus Bronzy. I'm Funk Butcher. Hey, 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 hey. Now, Apple bought Beats. Mm-hmm. Yes. Bought them out. Yes. Like, yo, you were bought right now. Dre, take that bill. Mm-hmm. Maybe after tax, it's not a billion, but you can still go around and tell everyone that you've got billions. Um, and they've had a good few sets of headphones, Beats. I, like with wearables, have found that Headphone wise, uh, I like a DJ and pair of headphones called Sennheiser HD 25s. Mm-hmm. And when I'm not using those, my go to pair of headphones for years mm-hmm. have been the Apple EarPods, the second generation ones. And you said you rate them as well, Funk, don't you? Mm-hmm. Good sound, mm-hmm. good output. Mm-hmm. So when we get sent headphones, I compare them to those. And also, it's good to compare them to, to those because it's most likely that you, the listener, is listening with something like that or you mm-hmm. have listened to something mm-hmm. like that. I rate those headphones. Mm-hmm. In fact, I like the fact that the, the Apple headphones, are, these are the out-of-the-box, regular £25 ones, $25 ones. I've put them in a wash and they've come out sounding clean, sounding great. <laughs> I've had them for like six months at a time, use them every day and they've not matched up. So I'm very sceptical when it comes to, to listening to new headphones. Um, but we here at How to Kill an, Kill an Hour got sent the Beats X from Beats, which are owned by Apple. And... The first thing I've got to say with these out of the box is um, the unboxing experience was very premium. I can't lie. Apple, Apple know what they're doing. They know how mm-hmm, to make you feel mm-hmm. special. Um, I reckon if Apple took me on a date, I'd be all theirs. <laughs> Yours as well. Um, so i got these out of the box. They come with a re- pretty nifty carry case. Uh, I'm not really somebody who likes to put my headphones in a case, so I whipped them over my shoulders. I do like the design. Yep. Because um, I'll fr- chuck them over to you, Funk. I do like the design because they have this thick, kind of tangle-free plastic tether between the headphones so these are these are wireless bluetooth headphones but the actual earbuds you put in they are connected yeah very and they, B- bdsm going on like, hey, like, you like that, isn't it? yeah <laughs> yeah if you if you were a secret agent you know that you'd have a garrot in there secretly um <laughs> they sit over your shoulders like a little thin plastic strap sits over the back of your shoulder mm-hmm. uh, back of your neck and the headphones go in your ears obviously mm-hmm. now the buds how they get into your ears, they've got these little wings on them mm-hmm. and they help secure them in place. Now, there's another pair of Beats headphones which is specifically made for the gym, which have like these super over the ear connectors and I think they're the probably the most securest fit. Okay. But those are reasonably secure. So the buds stay in your ear and that's it for the design. Okay. For the sound. Yeah. Tell me about the sound because I'm a sound man. Funk. Out of all of the wireless headphones, Bluetooth headphones I've tried. Yeah. These ones kick the fuck out of it, bruv. Really? These are the ones. Yeah, now, there's a little twist to it. Okay. I flatten the EQ on my phone because mm-hmm. I EQ up my sound. Even my Spotify is EQ to how I like it. Mm-hmm. Uh, if you didn't know, you can do it. Go into your settings if you're Spotify Premium. You can get a little bit of bass here or there. Mm-hmm. I flattened it because the beats, they give you a bit of extra bass mm. so they tailor them so they're bassy anyway yeah so i had to flatten it because if you try and have all your bass up on your phone it doesn't sound right yeah but i flattened my phone because i know what beats are like and i listened to the new kendrick lamar album bruv it sounded very very good mm-hmm. very 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 good mm-hmm. uh so it sounds good in terms of connecting them to your phone because they're apple yeah connecting them to your phone all you do literally is hold down the power button mm-hmm. hold them near your phone when the bluetooth's on and it says do you want to connect to these to these bluetooth headphones these okay. beats yes Simple. done it's no fucking around okay. um i was skeptical so that's the yeah i told you about the flex form cable which is great uh you've got a microphone on it as well so you can take calls make calls whatever uh, a bit weird though the design mm-hmm. the I've noticed you've done the same thing I've did. You're wearing them the wrong way around because because you're used to wearing Apple headphones and the and the on the right hand side's where the remote is. Yeah, that's where you're used to having it. Yeah, it's on the left, so you have to wear it the other way around. Really weird for me to get used to. Yeah, so you just got you have the control center on the left side where you're playing pause. A bit weird that, innit? I don't know why mm. they didn't just put it on the right. Okay. Uh, I was skeptical about one feature on it though because it's got this new Apple W1 chip that makes it easy for it to connect. Uh, also the headphones when they're not in they you can mag- they're magnetized so they stick together okay Funk just tried to put them on over his headphones <laughs> <laughs> right um, also yeah one thing I was skeptical about is they have 8 hours charge which yep. I was like cool you can carry full charge but they said if you charge them for 5 minutes you can get 2 uh, two hours play out of them that's what they said 5 minute quick charge 2 hours play 
So I was like, really? So the first thing I did was run them the fuck down, emptied the shit out of yeah. it. And I set a timer on my phone. I never use this finicky. And I set the charger, I set the, the thing for like five minutes. Yeah. Admittedly, I came back to it and it'd been popping off for like 30 seconds. So I've charged them for five and a half minutes from nothing. Mm-hmm. I got two and a half hours out of them. No yeah. lie. Okay. And that's great, man. Okay. And um, long story short, I've been wearing them all week, man. I, I think that could be, that could be my next headphone, my next stable headphone. The only thing that I would be upset about is if I was to lose them. Yeah. But because you wear them around your neck all the time, they're real easy. Plus, they're because they're Apple with the iCloud, if you have everything hooked up with the iCloud, once you connect them to your phone, they very easily connect to the rest of your iCloud devices as well. And that's the part that I'm um, obviously I was waiting for because obviously ecosystem. this is, it's not even just the ecosystem. You pointed out an issue there, which you've had a lot of problems with your adapters and obviously um, the iPhone 7 yep. now has AirPods. Yep. So this kind of is a happy solution. You can have something around your neck, which is harder to lose, harder yep. to misplace. Yep. Um What's the price point? Uh, what's the price point at now, Billy? One forty, I think. One hundred and forty pounds. Hundred about one hundred and thirty quid actually on Amazon. And that's compared to the AirPods, which are about one seventy as well. Where are they at now as well? Are, yeah, BTX are one. Yeah, Apple AirPods are still like a couple of hundred pounds. Mm. And it's funny because the AirPods, there are people that sell accessories to keep the like the wings mm. like that they've got on those Beats, which kind of keep them in your ear. Mm-hmm. But um. But yeah, man, um, yeah, Funk, just simple. And literally, I can sit here on my laptop with them in, quickly go to my Bluetooth settings, yeah. boom, they've yeah. connected to my laptop, my f- connect to my phone. That's just so simple. And that W1 trip that Apple has gone on about, and I know Android has quick connect as well, mm-hmm. but in terms of like the, the whole connection process, I was just like, super easy. Mm. It's a good sound, mm-hmm. super easy. I mean, if you want a cheaper headphone, wired, obviously yeah. there's yeah. cheaper alternatives, yeah. but for wireless headphones, mm-hmm. bruv, I'm down. Mm. I'm down, but just make sure you don't try and EQ your stuff basically because they're basic headphones already. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm cool. I'm cool with them, man. I nice. like them. I like them. Uh, also, Funk, I, I went and killed some time at the Junkyard Golf Course in East London. Okay. Uh, so I've given you something, by the way, listener, that you can enjoy any part in any part of the world. But this next thing is specifically for people that are in London because you got to do it in London. Uh, actually, they've got places in Manchester as well. Actually, and another one somewhere in the UK. Mm. I went to Junk Crazy. Well. It's like crazy golf. Yeah. In a junkyard. In a junkyard. Okay. It's not really junky though. It's like they've got these themed courses. Mm-hmm. So they've got like a, they've got courses that are like film based, mm-hmm. tropical, jungle based. Mm-hmm. Uh, the one I did was, well, the one I did was like junk. Well, I did a few of them. I did a jungle based one. Um, and there's one which was kind of like TV and movie based. And um, they've got like names as well. So there's like Bruce. It's the old school movie mashup. They've got Bozo, Gary. Oh yeah, Gary I did actually as well. Scrapyard. That's like their main one. Mm-hmm. Scrapyard challenge. And it's like crazy golf mm. indoors mm. with bars as well. So you roll into the place, get a drink, put your jacket up, go and play crazy golf. And like during the golf course, you've got people at bars like, yeah, do you want a shot? Do you want nice, a drink? Nice, nice. Which is all right. Um, it was a lot of fun. It was indoors. So you can do it any time of year. Mm-hmm. Um, I didn't win, which I'm not, going to take two personally but <laughs> that's the only thing I don't like about crazy golf is that yeah. someone with no skill can come along and mash you up and I've yeah. been practicing my golf swing for a few months now and I was in there like trying to tee up properly nah man yeah. you can just roll in uh, you, you were like Tiger Woods after the divorce yeah yeah, yeah I, was, I wasn't I was good I wasn't good Tiger but yeah I had a good bit of fun it's simple man we put links to, to that we'll put links to that and the beat sex in the, in the show description mm-hmm. check those out mm-hmm. um, the, I have one thing that I'm going to one gripe about junkyard golf which is and it was in the food department i gotta say they got this nice beer in there called corev delicious Mm -hmm. hot dog delicious nachos delicious but the price it wasn't the price bruv the price was delicious okay and this isn't just with junkyard golf it's with everyone and this might just be my own personal gripe why is there never enough cheese on my nachos oh my god There's never enough cheese on my nachos. So you take issue with the portions there? The portion was good for the nachos and the chilies and stuff, but just, to, yeah, the che- the portion of cheese. I'm never happy with the portion of cheese. <laughs> and it's not just John Gogolf. It's worldwide. This is a worldwide issue that we need to, to deal with because a man can't enjoy 
a dry nacho. Yeah. A man can't have a nacho stuck to the top of his mouth with yeah. no cheese to yeah. break that away. A man can't maintain a good day's work knowing that he's got dry nachos floating around in his belly. <laughs> a nacho must have sufficient cheese, don't, must have sufficient chili. Have, have no fear, brother Marcus. Uh, towards the end of the show, I'm sure Billy would draft up a letter to the United Nations. So ma- <laughs> yeah, I mean... <laughs> get this problem resolved. And it's not a hard fix. What we need to do is we need to start layering. Layering is the key, everybody. Yeah. Now, the layering is very simple. You start with a bed of cheese. You put some nachos on, then you put some more cheese. And you put some nachos on, you put some more. Let's start caring for our nachos. Yeah, maybe the head of junkyard golf is lactose intolerant and the the cheese quantities are adequate enough for his sensitive stomach. Maybe we just... Maybe we just have some sort of regular... Maybe there's a regulation for for nachos and cheese that I'm not aware of where it's like one scoop. Yeah. You only have one scoop. But I don't know. I don't feel like I, I... I don't want to feel like I have to nag for more cheese. Maybe I don't want to be that guy that asks for more cheese. So I sit there and I suffer in silence. Fine. I think this is the Brexit effect. The, the 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 cows aren't here. The cows are in Brussels and they're refusing to produce more cheese for us. So this is this is the quantities we've got now. No. Nah. This is it. In two that. years time, we're finally out and Article 50 is all done. What? Will we have no cheese? No cheese. Your nachos will just be crisps. <laughs> I don't know if I could live like that, bro. A hot, dry natural. Hot crisps. That's what it is. No, mean. what's next? But, but, no butter on toast. <laughs> what's next? Frying eggs in water. What's next for us? Egg McMuffin with no egg. It's like if you came to my house and I made you a sandwich, but all of the filling was in one side of the sandwich and the other side was bread. How, w- was, how would you feel about that? Or you went to Subway and you ordered a, a foot long and only filling was in one half of the foot long and the other, end, the other side of the foot long was bread. How would that make you feel inside? Angry and upset, right? And hungry. And hungry. But yeah, other than that, Jungle, Jungle Golf was good. The Brilliant. nachos that were cheesy were quite nice. Brilliant. Um, so check that out. Um, as well as that, Funk, our Billy, mm-hmm. we have secured drones on the show, which mm-hmm. are great to fly. Our Billy has secured... A drone, which is very, very unique. I mean, Billy, do you want to come over and hop on my mic? Because I've been doing a lot of talking and um, I feel a little bit emotional about cheese. Oh, you can hop on Funk's mic if you want. What's wrong with my mic? You're all the way over there. Dread. <laughs> How are you doing, Billy? Not too bad. I feel like you've not been on the mic on the show for a while. I haven't been, I haven't been for a while, no. Is it because we promised that we'd be getting you involved in some sort of How to Kill an Hour situation? And you agreed to something. I didn't know what it was. And you didn't know what it was. That's still in process, by the way. It hasn't happened yet. Though. Yes. A lie I didn't tell you. Uh, Bill, what did you get your hands on drone-wise uh, for the show? Chirison CX Stars Mini Drone or Ultra Mini Drone, should I say. What the hell is a Chirison CX Star Ultra Mini Drone? It's a drone that's very <laughs> tiny. <laughs> such a cunt. <laughs> really just lives to mug us off you know it's a tiny really drone really just lives to mug us off what is it it's a drone that's ultra tiny but yeah um, so when it came what did the box look like for this ultra mini drone just about as big as um, as big as that box you can't really see as it as big as that it's box a podcast. as big it's as a, that a, box it's so a if tiny you're, box so if you're, in a, if you're listening to this just look at the closest box and Billy's pointing at that <laughs> penalty box Box of cards. How big, what, how, how big would you say? A very, uh, a very. It's about what twenty centimeters by ten. I'd say it's about the. the uh, I don't know. I'd say it's, a large slice of toast. Yeah, it's just, the box is a bit sl- about half a size of toast. A lar- a large slice of English toast, Hovis, seeded batch, about half a size, half a slice, half a slice. What? How big is your toast in your house? That's that's small. You have toast that is bigger than that the, the palm of your hand. Bigger than your hand and all your fingers. Uh, I can see that. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's about that. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. VHS tape size. Yeah, the same size of VHS. That's a bad reference point. As well. <laughs> <laughs> um, imagine getting two iPhone sevens and putting them next to each other. That size. Yeah, that's yeah, a right, good reference yeah. point. Yeah, there you go. Right. So, and when you opened it, what was in the box? Uh, the controller, uh, spare wing tips, uh, charger, and the drone. That was okay. It. And how big was the actual drone itself? Um, it's about about fifty pence size, isn't it? About, about size, size of fifty p. It's tiny. It's tiny. And in terms of charging it up and stuff, how do you charge something so tiny? 
Uh, it's got like a little adapter on it. You just plug it in as you would do like a lightning connector. You just like, plug it in. It takes about eight minutes to charge up. You've got about eight minutes flight time. That's not bad. That's not bad. How was the flying experience? It was good. It was good. It'd be, I'd be better to go outside. And I would advise, uh, there is another one you can get. I didn't get this one, but it gets um, propeller protectors on it. Yeah. So you can't bend the protectors, pro- uh, propellers, sorry. Okay. When I've used it, the propeller is a little bit bent, so it doesn't fly straight now. Okay. So as a, as a young, so the propellers that you, that you had on it weren't protected. They're a bit because flimsy, it's so small, yeah. I presume you're flying it indoors? Yeah, I flew it outside as well. How uh, did it do outside? I done all right. It surprised you well, to be honest. Okay. About 20, 30 meter, meters in the sky. Really? You're not worried you're going to lose it? Well, yeah, you, you could just see where it was going. But if you were, if you, because I was about to go into a telephone line. Yeah. So I just, it says in the instructions, it says if you're about to hit something, just shut the power off and it'll just drop. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll break the motors inside. So I just dropped it. Okay. And uh, yeah, I think it bent one of the propellers. Okay. So you don't have the propeller protectors. As a young, virile man, who is current? Are you currently single, Billy? I don't know because yeah, yeah. sometimes you know Billy likes to just <laughs> slide in and out of that status without telling us. Do you feel like you've learned a lesson? There's a, some sort of metaphor with your drone flying without protectors and being sort of damaged by flying without pr- sufficient yeah. protection. Do you feel like that's taught you a life? Always lesson? have a some sort of protection. That's right. Even if you're just going for a test flight. Yeah. It sounds like the story of Icarus when Icarus flew too close to the sun. Dicarus, what? <laughs> yeah, this is Dicarus. Dicarus. <laughs> Icarus's cousin. <laughs> so yeah, like when Icarus flew too close to the sun. Yeah. See, Icarus was the kind of guy that would go raw dog. Yeah. He'll go raw dog on a chick, even if, even if, like, she's like, hey, I'm not sure, you know, Icarus will be like, I got this, man. He'll get lost in the sauce. <laughs> so yeah, so Billy, um, anyway, this this Tirus and CX drone, bit of fun? Worth it? Yeah, yeah, I paid about a tenner for it. They are online anywhere between 10 to 20 pounds. It just depends on where you get them from. Tenor for a drone isn't bad. I don't think it's a bad price. It's not bad at all. And do you say if you're a drone expert, this would be for you or more like entry I'd level? I'd say it's a beginner. So to get yourself into the world of drones right. and then you'll be all right. <laughs> and your, but your one bit of advice is strap up. Yeah. All right. There is another drone I've looked at that I might put some cash down and buy and pick it up. Yeah. Uh, one of the parrot ones, but we'll see. And okay. I'll bring it into the studio. All right. And it can fly indoors as well. Yeah, this one's got a stabilisation, so you won't need to all right. not hit walls. All right, cool. And where can we find all the information about this drone, please? Howtoclinow.com slash blog. Download the website. Yeah. Um, yeah, before we wrap up, though, man, how have you been, Billy? In and of yourself. Been well? I've been all right, yeah. How's the dating game going? So, so. I've just been, I've been exhausted these past few months. Exhausted from the amount of female attention that you've got just- off the back of How to Kill an Hour? Just working, doing podcasts, um, starting up uh, at this new radio station that I'm working on. Okay. So, all right. Just so, no time for ladies. Not at the moment. Well, I will find time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, concert. I've just been, I've just been out of it, and I'm going back to the gym soon. Okay. I had about five months off. Okay. And yeah, I'm going back to the gym soon. So, ladies, lift them weights. Is the gym ready for your return? Maybe, because <laughs> I I can see that I've lost I've lost some strength I've lost some mass, so I need to get back on that. So you've lost a bit of mass, lost a bit of strength. Yeah. And how are you going to get this mass and strength back? Food, creatine, water, protein, yeah. vegetables, right. greens. All right, all right. What what are your thoughts on this, Funk? <laughs> He's like Hugh Jackman <laughs> without the muscles. Billy like could, Billy He's could got be the, the next beard. Wolverine. Yeah, yeah Billy could yeah. be fuck Tom Hardy. Yeah, you could be the next Wolverine. Wolverine in school. Yeah, <laughs> Wolverine the young years. The young years. Well, young I, man I've Logan. I've had a shave though, haven't I? So yeah, it's not as not as full as it was. Young man Logan. Right. So Billy, this summer you're going to be ripped, pumped. We're going to get you out on the road, and we're going to introduce a lot of ladies to Billy. Well, I think this that that game that we reviewed the other day that'd be quite a good pickup tool. What fuck the game? Fuck the car game. Yeah. What? Because oh, so you say hi? Do you want to play fuck? And if they say yeah, sure, win. If they say what the fuck, you pervert? You say oh, I'm talking about a car game, man. Hey. That's what you mean. Hey. That's, that's, your what you way, mean? that's your way out. Well, no, not exactly that. I didn't really have that idea. Just well, yeah. That's that's put an idea in my head though. <laughs> okay. Hey. Cool. All right. Fair enough. Right. All right. That's Billy letting us know about the cheery son. Cheery son. The uh. Cheer- it is Cheerson. Cheerson CX Stars drone. Man, 
Lots of ways to kill time we have spent this week. And we've got loads of more other ways of killing time as well. Some stuff in studio, some stuff out. Um, I'm going to put it out now. Uh, Mario Kart 8. Woo! I'm going to mash everyone up. I did it at the... At the Fung's rolling his eyes oh, at me. Please. Do you know what? I was at a family do the other day, yeah? yeah and I was all like having adult conversations. I'm a big man now. It's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think, I don't think. <laughs> and I looked at, I looked at the corner of my eye at some like, 15 year olds 10 year olds 15 year olds couple of other kids playing uh, Mario Kart on the Wii U Mm -hmm. I looked over and one of the adults said oh you want to mess around with the kids careful they'll embarrass you and one of the kids was like yeah we're embarrassing you I said you're going to embarrass me at (laughs) Mario Kart you're going to embarrass brother I took it seriously I strolled over sat down on the couch next to these kids yeah and they were like what character do you want to be I said pick me a character yeah, and they're like, "What cart do you want?" Because you know, like the Wii U versions, like, because I'm I'm N64 and SNES Mario Kart, where you just had a cart and speed. Yeah, in these ones, you get like wheels, like you know, you get different sort of gliders and stuff. I was like, pick all the attributes for me. Yeah, <laughs> those little motherfuckers. Yeah, because I was playing on the Nintendo Wii. Those motherfuckers. Yeah, told me the wrong buttons because I haven't played it for a while. They didn't tell me all the buttons. I'm just getting ready for all these excuses. The, the fun, kind wait for of, it. The wait for it. Wait for it. Gonna drop. Yeah, go on. They didn't tell me the buttons. Yeah. Guess who came first place? <laughs> he cheated nah he cheated nah how'd you do that <laughs> shut up man let me go with the adults now man talking smack to me about yeah. Mario Kart I'm like I'm, I'm think I'm world class level then we need to find some way of streaming the first game that we play I think we should do a 360 stream yeah, yeah in here and just bro I don't know if you want to see that many angles of me winning though <laughs> do you want to see all that win <laughs> do you want to see it it's bad enough just hearing me bang on about it I'm world class standard when it comes to Mario Kart. I'm like Neo in the Matrix. I let my player do the talking, so you you keep you I don't keep even need talking to, I'm, or game. I will up, play yeah. and talk at the same time. Okay. I was, uh, I'm like I'm like yeah, you know, I'm just gonna win here. You know, you see his tactical maneuver here. Oh, I'm that guy. Yeah. Blue shell after blue shell. There's certain send there, it. There's certain levels to Toad, yeah, that even the developers of the game don't even know about. And but I showed I, it to them. <laughs> 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 Bro, I am Morpheus. And on that note, Nintendo, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's plenty of ways to kill some time out there. Thank you for killing some time with us. Let's go.